Today is the 35th day in the Gaza-Israel war, and IDF forces are engaged in heavy fighting on a three kilometer coastal area located in the northern Gaza Strip. The Hamas terrorist organization is investing a lot of efforts and fighters in order to reclaim that strip of land connecting Gaza Strip to the water. It seems like it has significant value to the ongoing operation of this terror organization. In the south, the IDF spokesperson's unit released footage showing factories manufacturing missiles and other ammunition and weapons for the terrorists inside the Gaza Strip. Shortly after releasing this footage, IDF forces carried out massive strikes on these particular locations, causing Hamas terrorists to evacuate the factories and seek shelter inside underground tunnels and houses in the surrounding area. Special IDF unmanned aerial vehicles captured footage of these terrorists evacuating and saw where they were hiding, enabling other IDF forces, including tank units and aerial vehicles, to carry out successful attacks against these Hamas locations throughout the area. The IDF was able to neutralize these factories and the terror tunnels in the surrounding proximity, causing massive damage to Hamas in that area and capturing that location. In another area between the cities of Jabalia and Gaza City, IDF forces uncovered a complex command position belonging to the terrorist Hamas organization that provided shelter for more than 130 Hamas terrorists. The IDF started bombing this location for 30 minutes using the Air Force and only after immense amount of airstrikes it called on its Merkava tanks to join in the battle together with other special forces. The IDF was able to neutralize more than dozens of Hamas terrorists and took control of terror tunnels and other infrastructure in this compound. The fighting in the Gaza Strip is very complex. Every step is calculated because the buildings are filled with explosives. Wherever you step, you might find an underground terror tunnel or a missile launcher or a terrorist hiding with an explosive device or an RPG missile. The IDF is gaining ground and making unbelievable achievements in the Gaza Strip. But it's important to know that this battle is long also because we have very little information about the whereabouts and the condition of more than 240 hostages that are still being held for more than 35 days in tunnels, in holes in the grounds by Hamas. These hostages, you need to understand, are babies, infants, children, mothers and fathers, including grandparents. I call on all of you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and support the IDF in this battle.